this is Callie with Gemmins. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here today and we are going to make a lavender cedarwood essential oil soap today and I'm so excited to bring this to you. Um, I've put this in my shop a while ago and then um, ran out of my essential oil so I couldn't remake it until just recently and I have had so many requests for this. So we are going to make that today. And I have my door closed to keep the animals out, but they're trying to get in here because we don't want to soap or do anything while they're here. And the room was completely cleaned after they were in here the last time you saw me. So I want to keep this all nice and sterile and clean. Um, so just so you know. And uh, we have got a whole bunch of shipment that can just came in. That's where the boxes are behind me. I got my citric acid in last night and I got my bath bomb bucket somewhere. Oh, it's out in the garage still. And then I got a big, I've got two coconut oil buckets. So we have a lot of soaps we're going to be getting ready to do um, over the next couple of months. So we are set up to really do some production. So I'm really excited. So definitely go onto those websites and grab these soaps. Um, the Dragon's Blood and the Lemongrass that we did um, a couple days ago are up and on the website. And they are ready to go for sale. So you can go get those now. Minnie wants to come in here. I can't let her in. I'm sorry. Her brother's um, outside running around now. He's our new newest mouser or trainer mouser. And so he's out there with his um, dads and uncles. And they're out there training him how to be a good outdoor mouser. So although he's he's got natural instincts that are just incredible. So we think he's going to be a really good mouser this year. All right. So let's turn this down and let's show you what we're going to do. And we'll get to it. All right, so this is lavender cedar wood is the scent. I've already got my lavender and cedar wood essential oil here ready to go. We're going to use two colors of purple, which are here. A really light one, and then we're going to go a little bit dark to kind of give a variation with a white, because I have my titanium dioxide that I finally got opened up there. So we're going to use that. I've got it pre-made. Um, my lye water and my oils should be cooled down they've been in here since about two o'clock this morning yeah they're down to 72 so they're a little bit colder than what i normally like to soap at but that's okay i'm not going to worry about it all we know is that they're ready to go all right so i'm going to pull this forward so you can see what we're doing and we are going to get ready to go let's turn this on before i run it yep it's all hooked up ready to go all right so let's make this soap lavender cedar wood all right so i'm going to pour this slide down my stick so it doesn't splash. I find that that really is the best way to do it. Okay, I'm going to throw that in my bucket. Okay, didn't want that to happen. But that's okay, I have a towel here. It didn't squirt out, it just squirted up on the edge. There we go. Ah, oh, that is a good soap. Look at that. Alright, I don't want to mix this any further because uh, everything now will be done with whisk because I'm finding that my soap is hardening up fairly quickly and I'm not quite sure why. Alright, so let's scrape this down. And it raised my chair up. It sunk on me. Alright. I have a bucket down here on the floor where I can just throw all my stuff in there. And that is the other reason why I don't want my kitten in here because she is so curious. And uh, we're going to go get her um, spayed uh, tomorrow, actually. She gets spayed if the doctor gives her the okay. They have to do a pregnancy test, make sure she's not pregnant because we do have a lot of males around here. And I know she's not pregnant, but we still have to get the test done and make sure she's good to go. And then we'll get her spayed. Oh my gosh, this smells so good in here. All right, so now what I'm going to do here is I am going to add that to the entire group. And I did not weigh. We're going to add this titanium dioxide to the entire mix, and then we'll add the fragrance oil. That should do it. I'm going to add two because I want this to be really, really white. I think the last one I did was really white. All right, so put that in there for now. I need my, get rid of my scraper for a second here. All right, so in my mix here, I have pre-melted 
um, shea butter, cocoa butter, mango butter, uh, cocoa butter, olive oil and Castile, or not Castile, I keep saying that, Ol olive oil and castor oil, excuse me, and then of course coconut oil is our base. All right, so that looks really good. That's going to lighten itself up quite a bit when it sits. So now we're going to zhush in our fragrance oil, which will thin this down just a little bit, and then we'll split the batter off really quick, and then we'll make with two colors. Base color will be white, but we'll have um, two other light color. I think maybe I'll just do the one color. It seems to be it seems to want to work better that way. I think I just broke something in there. Nope, I didn't. All right, so let's mix this up really, really, really good. I do know that lavender and cedar wood does not accelerate the soap, so we've got a lot of time here. I think we will go ahead and do the two light colors. Okay, so there's one. And yes, I don't have my gloves on. It's totally okay. My hands are completely washed. After handling all my animals this morning, I decided to just go in and do a really good scrub. So I took and scrubbed my hands really good with some scrubs that I have. And then I uh, washed them off with some really good soap. Okay, so let's do light to dark because I want the light streak. And we are literally not going to add a whole lot. We're just going to do just a little bit. See, just a little bit. Okay, we're gonna put that one away. And in case you want to know what the colors are that I'm using, they're Crafter's Choice, and um, I don't have my glasses on. This one's Purple Playhouse Mica right there. And the other one I am doing, I will give you that in just a second. We are gonna make this a really dark purple. So we're gonna add a whole whole bunch of that one in there. Add that down there. I don't need to add any more. And this one is, hold on. This one is just a purple um, that I, my new purples that I got in. So that's really exciting. All right, so I'm going to put that down in my bucket. Close the lid up for this because we're done with the titanium dioxide and I want to move that out of the way. All right, so now what I need to do is mix these up really quick. We'll get these going here. This should give me a fairly dark purple. Remember when you're using micas, uh, less is always more. You can always add more mica in, but you can't pull it out. So just be aware of that when you're working on it. That's a really, really pretty pale purple, and that's what I wanted. It might be a little bit too pale. Mm, that's a little bit on the too pale side. Let me add just a little bit. It gave just a little bit of a hint, but I'm just going to drop just a little bit more in there. Maybe not that much. <laughs> and I wanted this to be a little bit on the darker side. So I'm going to go just a little bit more. Just a shade darker is all I wanted. Because as you saw, that purple is super, super dark. Or super, super, super light. And I didn't want it that light. I wanted a purple shade, but I didn't want it that light. So there's this. There we go, I think we've got that. Okay, and this should darken it up a little bit. All right. All right, there we go, those are our two colors. It's a little bit on the... These will be really cool when I'm done with them. Um, can't see me, but I'm tapping the rest of that stuff off so it doesn't drip too bad. I have a bucket down here that has stuff in it. All right, so there's our two colors. Let's see if you can see that or not. I'll do that that way. Okay, so the two purples and the white, and we're going to do this now. And as you can see, my it's not setting up at all. Oh, what happened here? Hold on a second. All right, let's pour this in. Get down there. Just don't want to drip. And then we'll start pouring these in. All right, this is going to be a beautiful soap when we're done. I don't know if you can't really see what I'm doing here, but I am scraping my bowl. So let me just pick it up so you can look at that beautiful soap. Now this soap is going to turn a lighter color than it actually is. It should actually turn completely white when it's done with its process. And if it 
doesn't, it'll definitely be lighter than what it was. It's not going to be the pure white that I made originally, um, only because I have new ingredients. And um, a couple of those ingredients are not white. They're actually fairly yellow. I went to pure items this time, oils, when I ordered my stuff. So we have a little bit better product in here. Not that I didn't do pure before, because I did, but... Um... Okay, so there we go there. A little bit of white streaking in there, but that's all right. That's normal. All right, so let's add the purple in here. This is going to be a pretty soap when we're done. Oh, look at that. Can you see those streaks in there? Let's see if I can push this over so you guys can see it. There you go. Look at that pretty streaky in there. Got some that fell down, so let's just keep going here. It's going to let me do that. And I am one not to waste, so I'm going to pull every little bit of this soap out that I can. Oh, and my dog is yelling at me. We have a little doxy who doesn't like to be outside. He goes out, runs around for like two minutes, and then walks back in. Not quite sure why. I think he's cold, so I'm ordering some new sweaters for him. So I think he needs sweaters. All right, so now let's add the center, the lighter color. Here we go, and that'll fill this up really good. Look at those pretty swirls in there already. Oh, I'm so impressed with this soap. This soap is going to be so pretty when it's done. Oh. As you can see, there's the two variations. I don't know. You can see the two streaks, the light purple and the dark purple. Oh, and just so you know, I'm hoping that you're seeing a better image than what we've been getting. I have a new cam. I well, I decided to use my new camera instead of my old one, I'm trying to retire that camera. So we're going to this one. Okay, so that should be all I can get out of that. Put that down there, wipe my hands off. Oop, put that down there, and then we're gonna streak it with my little streak. Wipe up my. There. All right, so let's turn this to the side. Look at that beautiful. I can't pick it up because it's really liquid. And let's get this swirled in. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a really pretty soap. I can tell it already. Now somebody asked me this question, why do you double swirl this? Well, as you can see the streaks that are coming through, why not? It's so beautiful. And even though you pour your soaps down into the bottom of this, they don't always twirl up. So... Um, in order for me to get that twirl on the ends, I have to go back and forth on each side. So um, I have a new uh, wire and I just don't have it bent out to where I can go straight down and I can swirl it up a little bit better. And that should give me a better, um, a better uh, swirl. All right, we're going to let this harden up for a minute and then we will give it its... Give it its uh, swirl up. Where'd my... Right, so we're gonna add lavender, fresh, I uh, don't have fresh, well, I have fresh lavender, but I have another project we're gonna do. I ended up getting, this is super exciting. I got um, some lavender honey, and I infused lavender in an olive oil, and I'm gonna show you guys how we do, is this really soupy? It is really soupy. Um, I'm going to show you how we are going to do our um, uh, lavender uh, infused soap. And I haven't done that yet. I've got a small mold of it. And once I get that going, then we'll, we'll get that in there. This is really, really soupy. I don't think I can. Yeah, it's not enough for me to really do any streaking yet. But we'll just get it going here. Starting to set up. Actually, I kind of like this anyway. You know what? I kind of like that. What do you think? I think I may just leave it like this. I mean, I know I like the peaks and stuff, but this is really pretty. I think I'll leave it. I 
And I think I'm going to leave it and I'm just going to throw lavender on top. Actually, I think I'll look, throw lavender down the side here. It's such a pretty. Cedarwood and lavender is the name of this. I absolutely love this scent. I don't know if you've ever had lavender and cedarwood, but we really encourage you to go out and get it. Um, it's beautiful. It smells so amazing in here. And I love burning cedar wood um, in my home. I had a Native American um, teach me how to make um, or how to burn cedar in the house. And uh, I absolutely love burning it. I'll put a streak here and there. Just kind of give it the a little bit here and there. Not a lot. Kind of give it a little bit of a, I don't want it to go too thick, just light here and there. But that's beautiful. That's a beautiful top. Okay, so we're going to leave it just like that because I don't want a whole lot. Okay, so there's our top. Let me turn this around from the front so you can see how it's this way because you're seeing it the way I am. All right, so there is our lavender cedar wood soap. Isn't that gorgeous? I can't pick it up because the it is very, very um, fluid. And if I try to pick it up right now, it will just... Yeah, see, it's too fluid. It's just going to fall back and I don't want to do that so there you go there is our lavender cedar wood and I absolutely love the smell it smells so amazing in my room right now <laughs> so there you have it right there we will cut this tomorrow and I will film it for you guys and I will show you what it looks like it's such a beautiful soap um here again um the ingredients in here are um our lye water of course and to learn how to do that there's lots of videos on there so there's Castor oil, coconut oil, um, shea butter, cocoa butter, mango butter, and olive oil. I keep the ingredients in this very, very simple. And olive oil, um, which is really good for us. And so this is a really butter-rich um, uh, soap. Now, I had, I had somebody one day at the farmer's market, and then somebody said this on a video once. Um, it was Uncle John, and I absolutely love his videos, so go watch him. But... They said that, uh, why waste money on butters? Well, I'll tell you what, the quality of my soap is a lot much different than those that you get in the store um, because of the butters. And if you ever have had a butter rich soap, you will feel the difference in the soap. The lather, the workability of it, it's, it's just fabulous. And I work my soaps very well to make sure that they have a good balance of cleansing and bubbles and conditioning so you're getting all of that in this soap so just be aware of that when you're purchasing um what is not in my soap anymore just so you guys know we have no more silk we have no more artificial ingredients um, i have not added the kaolin clay um, i have not added in uh, well like i said the silk and the hemp seed oil so we've dropped the hemp seed oil out of our soaps all together so i'm not using hemp seed oil soap so those of you that have seen my my videos and have come on and seen me use the hemp seed oil soap um and but we're hesitant to buy it because of the hemp seed oil and i completely understand it we've we have dropped it somebody asked me this question why are you dropping the hemp seed oil soap well bottom line is is the area that i live in here live here down in olympia washington people don't want that soap so i have dropped it completely um because like there's just no there's no market for it in fact i have people that find out that there's hemp seed oil in my soaps and they turn around and went nope i don't want it that's basic basically because they're not educated in what hemp seed oil is soap they think when they think of hemp they think of marijuana they think of the harmful effects that are in it and i don't do it i did have a lady approach me and say hey i would like to put together a thc soap would you teach me and I said, um, I would love to sit down and work with you. However, just be aware that, you know, you do have to have a license to carry it and make it. So you're going to have to get that first before I can show you how to do it. And it was a month ago and I've not heard back from her. So I'm not quite sure where she is in that process. Um, I really would love for her to be able to work that because the CBDs and the um, really do work really good on your skin and they really do help people. Um, and they're really good for your your muscles and, and more so um, but I'm choosing not to do that my husband's a truck driver so we can't have the hemp seed oil and I'm gonna I will have a hemp seed oil soap still available and I've got to get it back up in my my hemp in soap which is what I started with is my original formula of my soap 
Um, I will be using that soap for that particular scent um, because Hempton is a signature soap of mine and you cannot get it anywhere else. And I've had it down for a while only because I was trying to make a decision in the process of this change. Do I want to continue to use it or do I want to drop it? And I made the decision that I'm going to go ahead and continue to carry it. But I also decided that I would only make the one bar. And then I have another bar, which is a cannabis scent, which is absolutely beautiful. It's not what you think it is. Trust me, it's really nice. In fact, I have people that say that they don't like cannabis, but they pick up my bar not, not realizing what it is and went, oh my God, I love this. What is it? And then I tell them, they're like, oh, really? So it's not like what you're thinking cannabis smells like. So trust me that it's a really beautiful scent. But anyway, so um, so those two soaps will still remain and they will be my hemp soil, my hemp seed oil soaps. I'm not going to be doing any other soaps. So those will be coming out, um, coming back in the shop here shortly. I just have to re-photograph them and get them back up. So um, I changed cameras is what I did. I have a Nikon professional camera that I do. And I think I did a video on that a while ago. If not, go, go, um, I'll see if I can do one, but, uh, um, so I will do those professionally, um, myself and get those back up on the website. In fact, I've been photographing all my soaps all over again. So, uh, just be aware of that. Um, but, uh, and we will definitely re refilm the soap so you know what this batch of series of soaps is and we'll get these up too so dragon's blood lemongrass all back up on the soaps i've replenished them and then lavender cedarwood will be available at the time of the viewing of this soap so definitely go in and order it um and get that get that going um next up we have vanilla and i have i'm going to be starting to do my fall soaps so watch that one I will start doing my fall and my, my Christmas soaps. I'm not going to be focusing too much on my fall soaps because I have so many fall soaps left over from last year. For whatever reason, they didn't really sell that well, which I was surprised at. But now they're selling this year. And I think it's because of the economy and the way things were last year. And um, so people are starting to buy those up. And I'm really happy with that. So we'll get the rest of those soaps um, back up on the website also as we start making them. Um, first up is uh, my Witch Potion Bruise, I think is the name of it. And um, it sold out the last time. I mean, I put it out on the market and it went gone. So we're going to get that one back up again. Um, so there you go. So that's what's coming up in the studio. Um, as you see, I'm unpacking boxes that we just got. Uh, I got my rack up above and we are full on getting things done. And I'm kind of rambling a little bit. I apologize. I was trying to see if I can pick this up. Yes, I can. All right, so let me show you the soap because it is done. There you go. I can finally pick it up. It solidified itself. So there is the top of that soap. Isn't that beautiful? I love this soap. This is going to be a good seller. And it smells so amazing. There you go. I wish we had Cellivision so you guys... smell a vision <laughs> smell a vision so you can smell this it smells really good all right so there you go thanks everybody for joining me i appreciate you coming here every time don't forget to like and subscribe don't forget to share my videos with others and uh don't forget to hit the notification button if you want notification of my videos all right everybody have a beautiful day thank you bye <laughs>
me just turn this all the way down. There we go. Now you can see it. All right, so. All right, so let's open this up. We're going to see what this beautiful soap is. I hope you can see there. Oh my gosh, this looks really beautiful. Look at that inside. Isn't that gorgeous? This is going to be one freaking beautiful soap. Okay, let's turn on its end. We're going to release the end here. And release is always hard. Let's flip it over. Yeah, there's going to be little pieces of stuff that falls out. That's normal. And if you're making soap and you're watching me do this, don't worry about it. That is totally normal. Oh, wow. That soap is definitely ready to come out. Look at that soap. Wow. Take these little edges off. Clean it up a little bit. Oof. You can't pick it up. It is still on a little bit of the soft side. I can feel it, but that's okay. It'll harden up here once we get this going. All right. So I'm going to pull this away. Pull my soap thing down. Put this on here. Pull this over here. Switcheroo here. Whoops. All right. Get my hands off. All right. Let's see what kind of a cut we can get here. The bar is clean. All right. There we go. Oh, yeah. That cut really nice. Oh, look at that inside. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I'm so glad I chose that second color. This looks beautiful. This is prettier than the first batch I made. I like this batch better. Look at that. Oh, this is going to be a good soap. If you want this soap, oops, I'm trying to set it up here. I should just bring it over. It was falling over. If you want this soap, it is available on the website as the time of you viewing this video. So go out and get it. Oh, wow. Look at that. This is so pretty. This turned out better than I thought it was going to be. All right, see if it'll level out there. Keep going. Kind of in a... Mmm, it smells so good, too. This soap turned out so much better than I thought it was. Mmm, look at that. This is going to sell really good at my farmer's market, so if you were at my farmer's markets, come by my booth and check it out. Um, I'm in my same booth all every time, so you definitely know where I'm at if you've been there before, and if you haven't, I'm kind of sort of towards the end of the, by the, by the road, not by the, by the community center, I'm down that center there. I absolutely love that place. Look at that. New soap. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with the soap. So much better than what I thought it was going to be. There you go. Kind of wobbling a little bit on that edge. I'm not sure why it's doing that. Oh, I know why. I should probably clean it off. There, there's another one. This double purple in here worked out really well. And I'm very happy with it. I'm going to clean that off so it goes smooth. Super congested this morning. Our weather has been really with the California hurricane that came through we up here in Washington are getting kind of like the leading edge of it not necessarily the leading edge but what we're getting is like the residual little stuff of it here on the east side or west side of it and it's causing havoc for my allergies this weather back and forth has been crazy all right so there you go and that's what i when you were watching that video earlier that's what i was talking about the ends it's really hard to get to the ends and then there's the end result so there you go all right so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirty four fifteen bars available and they are absolutely beautiful pull this in here so you guys can see them there you go and once again i'll pull my one of my cuts up there there you go isn't that gorgeous i love that swirl in there all right so this is lavender cedar wood this is available on in my shop now so you can go ahead and definitely order that um i'll ship out in a day or two we're coming up on the week weekend so it's really hard for me to ship out but um we'll get everything shipped out the best we can i am gone on saturday so if you order today or tomorrow it will go out on monday so all right there you go we are all set and um, I'm going to let these sit and then wrap these up tomorrow. 
up and coming. I have some really exciting news here. Let me move this over. And I will show you. Oops, that's not level. I'm going to move this up here. I'm going to show you what I have coming up here. Um, maybe. I was going to show you. All right, so I'm going to show you this. I have my freshwater pearls finally came in, or excuse me, these are the saltwater pearls. These are Akoya saltwater pearls, and they finally came in, and I opened up one, and it was gold. So these are going to be opened up in the next couple of days, and my towel will disappear. Oh, no, it's right here. Put my towel out. And these um, are going to be brought open. I got my bag here. My pearls. These Akoya Oyster Pearls are next on the agenda. So watch out for that video coming up next. Isn't that beautiful? It's a beautiful gold. And someone, I was going to open this up. I usually open up the first pearl of any of my bags and I keep the first one. But I have decided to let this one go in there. So if you're interested in getting that watch my next videos and watch for those being put up on my website. Um, I'm going to try and get them up later on today because I do have all my supplies in to make them and I will be doing a demo on that here um, this next week. Maybe even later on this afternoon if I get time. I got a lot to do today. Got to take my cat into the vet. Oh, one last look at that video, beautiful video. So I got to take, you can hear the dogs in the background. <laughs> They're not allowed in my studio anymore after I got it finalized and cleaned up. So, um, so that's what's coming up in the studio. I'm going to show you how I'm making my uh, my bath bomb pearls. Uh, they I finally figured out um, what my bath bombs are going to look like since I had the fail. Um, and if you haven't seen that, it's I'll I'll put those videos up. Um, but I finally figured out what I'm going to do with my bath bombs, and I'm super excited to bring those out to you, especially the saltwater ones. The saltwater ones are going to be so cool and pretty. I cannot wait to bring these out to you guys. So, um, and you guys are getting a really good. Um, bath bomb so we're going to be making the bath bombs the pearls are going to cost you um bath bomb and pearl um uh, thinking about thirty dollars um but you're getting a bath bomb and you're getting a pearl i, I the koya pearls actually retail for about 25 dollars a piece so that little pearl right there is is probably worth a little bit more than that but um i'll give you guys a discount when i'm giving the pearls bath bombs um and these are perfect for holiday gifts coming up so i'll talk a whole lot more about that in the future so there you go there are our brand new I'll put these up so you guys can see them because they're falling there you go kind of sort of see them <laughs> oh and then they fell backwards let me see if i can do it again <laughs> there you go all right, there's our new lavender cedar wood soaps. I'll put those back up and let them dry. And they are now in shop, so go get them if you want them. All right, my name, this is, um, I'm signing off here. I'm tired. It's about 6.30 in the morning, and I just woke up, and I thought, hey, I'm going to come up here and get the soap cut because I have so much to do today and bring that to you guys. All right, you all have a really awesome day. Thank you for joining me today. I appreciate you all. And if you have any comments or questions, please let me know down below or reach out to me directly from the website or my email. Um, you can find me pretty much anywhere or even on my Facebook group. So feel free to grab that. Um, somebody asked me again if I had a, a Patreon channel. Um, I'm working on it. Uh, I've had so many requests at the farmer's market for me to bring that out. So I'm going to try and do that here in the next couple weeks. So we will be bringing that and I will be bringing some tutorials and I will also be telling you how and giving you some recipes and showing you some really cool things on yourself. So, oh, it's been a morning <laughs> and my husband's home. So we have a lot going on today. So it's going to be a good day. So anyway, you all have a really great day. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yeah, my voice is going out. It's this weather. And uh, don't forget to um, hit the notification button. And don't forget to leave a message down below if you have any questions or comments. Thanks, everybody, for joining me. Have a really great day. Bye. <laughs>